Hey, what's going on guys? Mike from the Raptor Lefters. This past week, I actually went to the Berry Game Exchange. Here's a few games that I got. Evil Dead. I don't know much about this game. I've heard it's not that great, but the art on the manual itself looks really, really good. Fantasy Star Online version one. It's actually still sealed and it comes with like a little demo disc on the back. I didn't pay the price that's listed on here. Next up is Seventh Cross Evolution. It's a sim game where you're actually creating a 3D world and I'm actually looking forward to playing them eventually. Next up was a game that was on my radar for a while just because I was afraid of pricing D2, but surprisingly it didn't go too high up. I based my pricing on price charting and puregaming.org, an app that I have on my iPhone and I based a lot of my pricing on those games. Next up is Sega Smash Pack Volume 1. This is still sealed and it's minty sealed. It has Sonic the Hedgehog, Golden Axe, Shining Force, Wrestle of War, Streets of Rage 2, one of my favorites, Columns, another one of my favorites, Virtual Cop 2, Fantasy Star 2, Revenge of Shinobi, Sega Swirl, Altered Beast, and Vector Man. A little compilation disc that has so many great games on it. Next up, Elemental Gimmick Gear, or Egg as they call it. It's an RPG, much like any RPG on any system, has gone up in price. I was, again, glad that Jason Relaxation reached out to me and he had a few of these RPGs and I was able to grab them on the super cheap because obviously the more you bundle together, the cheaper each game gets. The way I see it is if you bundle up price and you divide that amongst the games that you get equals the price of each game that you get next up evolution i've played the first one i really enjoyed the first one on the dreamcast i never got a chance to play the second one because when the dreamcast was on its way out i already switched over to the next console this always really intrigued me because i always liked the art style and last up from jason relaxation was omiracron this is a unique game because it has david bowie on the cover and when he died which is surprising the price of this game actually shot up which is weird i don't know why i think it actually stabled out as of late, especially on eBay, because everybody figures that, you know, anybody who's a pop star or anything like that deserves recognition and anything he's or they're affiliated to has to go up in price as well. And this was a, one of those games that actually went up in price and it's still sealed, which is fantastic. Uh, it's got the original soundtrack from David Bowie and Reeves Gabriels. I don't know who that is. You know, it's always intriguing because when you ever see David Bowie affiliate to something like Labyrinth, fantasy style games or movies, Next up is two games that James Retropixel actually contacted me through Facebook and he asked if I needed these bunch of games and I already had a few of them, but there was two of them that I needed and these are the two that I needed, which was Hidden and Dangerous. It's a 3D tactical shooter type of game. I'm assuming much like a SOCOM. Next up, Chronicles of Pern, Dragon Riders. It's a 3D action adventure. Whenever I see this game, it always reminds me of Eternal Darkness and I don't know why. It just reminds me of it. I, I don't know what it is about it. It just, I don't know if that has anything to do with it and the gameplay has nothing probably to do with it. It just something that whenever I see the box art, it just reminds me of Eternal Darkness. Yeah. When I went to the Barry Game Exchange, I took my wife and kids with me because I didn't want to take the hour long drive by myself. And when I walked in, I went to go do my deals with the two Jason Relaxation and Retro Pixel. My wife and kids, they decided to split off and go about looking around and seeing the booths. They never experienced something like that. And uh, you know what, when you're walking there, it's very overwhelming. There's games, comics, books, anime, a whole bunch of different things that when you're not used to seeing that much information all processed to you all, all at once, it's pretty overwhelming. So when my wife and kids walked around and they saw so many little things that they thought I would love to have in my game room. So every so often they would come running up to me with a new gizmo or a new little toy if I wanted. What they actually got me, which was pretty cool, and I'm actually really happy to have it because we don't have that here in Canada and that's Super Mario cereal with the Amiibo. I'm actually really happy to have this. It's probably gonna be shelf padding. I'm not gonna open this up. I'm not really interested. I'm probably gonna use the Amiibo if I can use it without opening it. I'm really glad I have this because it's something that we don't get here in Canada. There's not much things that you guys in the States get that we get at the same time. And if we do, it's kind of like a watered down version. The values are a lot different. I don't know why, but it's in pretty good shape. It's still closed sealed. I'm really happy to have this on my game shelf and probably in the background eventually up here. Next up is the two little things that my daughters wanted and my one daughter came to me and she grabbed me this. I don't know if you guys could see that. It's Super Mario, the Invisible Super Mario. It's one of the McDonald's toys. Whenever the new McDonald's or Nintendo toys or anything like that comes out, I tend to get them, but I don't get the full set because time and money is just, uh, do I really want to go spend $3.99 on a little toy or that's going to be on the shelf? So I don't typically get them all, but the ones I do like, I like to grab. So this is one that I'm really interested in grabbing and keeping on the shelf, probably keep it in the back with the other LEDs. And next up is my youngest daughter came to me with anything with Pez and anything with candy, 
my youngest daughter loves. This is something that she wanted and it's gonna be, again, shelf padding. Please like, comment, subscribe. Thanks, guys.